Uh, you're uh, right at my noise level. Actually, you're under my noise level. My meter was <laughs> not moving at all. So uh, maybe uh, later on, conditions will uh, shift around a little bit. And uh, let me, I'll give you an example. Let me bump off here, a kilowatt, go down to 100 watts. Uh, this is 100 watts, so uh, this is pretty much, uh, if you're running 100, this is pretty much what you sound like to me uh, in the um, area. And, okay, we're back uh, to the KW now. Uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor. Anybody uh, want to check out their audio? Give me a call. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor, Whiskey 3, Alpha, Bravo, Juliet. Whiskey three, Alpha Bravo, Juliet. Gosh, you uh, you uh, bent my needle. <laughs> Good signal. Good audio, Roger. Oh, Roger that. Thank you. Uh, I'm running a brand new Icon 7300. Um, just getting things set up with it. Uh, wondering how the audio sound, Roger. Well, now see, you were in such a hurry to uh, take that uh, hand mic off and get the desk mic on, right? Uh, copy that. I'm running the uh, ICOM SM50 desk mic. Roger, Roger. Well, you're going to have to do a little EQ on the upper end to uh, match the hand mic that came stock with your radio. Uh, the hand mic that came stock with your radio is a condenser microphone, and it was uh, specifically designed to show off uh, your 7300 because of its uh, uh, great articulation and sort of a range, the ability, uh, ability of that to condenser to capture your articulation and uh, to uh, bring it forth through the uh, uh, magic of uh, electronics and whatnot and where not. But uh, so, what I would suggest uh, do you know where your EQ is on your radio? Uh, that's negative. I would have to uh, dig out the manual. This radio is brand new to me. All right. Well, let me. Uh, uh, do you have a pencil and paper? Roger that. Okay. What I would suggest would be to uh, bring your top end DQ. Now you you you've got uh, two band DQ, not three band. Is that a Roger? Or do you know? I do not know. Okay, I believe that 7300 has a two band EQ. So what you want to do on the top end, on the top end EQ, is uh, plus that EQ about half of its capabilities. If it's a zero to five, uh, take it to a three. Uh, if it's a zero to five boost on the top end, take it to three. And uh, that should help duplicate uh, the sound that you would get naturally off of your um, condenser uh, stock hand mic. Roger? Uh, Roger that. I, uh, I do have the compression off, and I did uh, tweak with the bass and that a little bit. Last cue, so I had the uh, gentleman said I was a little too heavy on the bass. Uh, are you still running like, like you had it? No, uh, I tweaked the bass in the uh, uh, treble down a bit. Um, I don't know what my settings are right now. I'd have to get back into that. Roger that. Well, the, uh, the other thing is that you want to run that radio in uh, the widest width that they got. I mean, there's no sense you pay good money for that radio. You run it. <laughs> you don't need to run it in a compromised width. Run it uh, full width, whatever it is, uh, 3K. Roger. Roger. And uh, that will uh, help out any, um, you know, problems you may have in the top end, uh, you know, because if you're running it in less than full, then you start reducing your uh, top end uh, articulation. So run it uh, in the widest uh, form that you have. And then, like I say, what I would suggest, uh, uh, talk to me some more. You're, you're sounding better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, is it? Uh, coming in a little bit better there. Uh, I haven't tweaked anything since uh, we've uh, started working here. Uh, but like I said, uh, last year so I had a week or so ago, the gentleman said my face is pretty heavy, so I stopped a little bit. And uh, I've been running it this way. And I checked my audio with the uh, monitor feature on here, but it doesn't really give you a true feedback. I was just wondering how things were sounding. Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm looking at you on a spectrum analyzer, and I'm showing uh, a little deficiency in the upper end of your audio spectrum capabilities. So I think if you go to um, a three 
on the top end EQ. Uh, that should help your um, articulation and the brightness of your of your sound. And then uh, the bottom end looks uh, fairly fairly flat. So I think if you uh, do crank in that uh, top end EQ, I think you'll uh, be uh, leaps and bounds ahead. Roger. Uh, Roger that. Thank you so much. Roger that. Now, uh, you, what are you running on your uh, compressor? I have the compression turned off at this point. Uh, do you know how to get to your ALC? Uh, let's see if I can get to it uh, from the screen here. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog program where you air check record from 3.30 till 5.00. Post it on YouTube, and then you can hear what you sound like. Uh, well, uh, I can. If you still got that pad and pencil, I'll, I'll give you some gophers there. Yeah, Roger that. I still have the pad and pencil here. All right, on your compressor, you want to be tasteful about it, but you want to use it to further reduce your dynamic range. Dynamic range is the amount of fatness that your audio signal uh, becomes as you start to re reduce the dynamics. You know, like um, average peak modulation for an unprocessed uh, signal is about 30% of average peak modulation. And then as you uh, continue to process it, uh, uh, fatten it up, uh, then it goes to your average peak modulation, and I'm talking peak modulation, not just, uh, you know, um not just average, not just peak modulation, but average peak modulation. That's the key word, average. So as you compress the signal, it gets fatter, and your average peak modulation goes up to around 60-70%, uh, and that makes you sound twice as loud as uh, you do unprocessed. So, um, what I would do is be tasteful about my compression, and I would just take it to a three. I would be very reserved, but I, w I would put it in, but I would put it in only at a three, and that plus running your uh, ALC mid-scale to two-thirds will probably take your average peak modulation up into the 65-70% uh, area. Roger. Uh, Roger that. I uh, turned the compression on and I have it set at about three. Is there uh, any difference there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, you need to, to uh, consult your ALC. I think you might be hot in your ALC, Roger. Roger that. So that, that should be, uh, you know, if you have a multimeter or something, uh, that should be one of the selections on your multimeter. Yeah, I, I have the uh, compression here. Um, um, I'm trying to get to where I can adjust the ALC. Yeah, whoever's uh, tuning up, sir, uh, go to another frequency, go to another channel to tune up, then come back. Do not tune up on an operating frequency. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, in the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program, uh, where we air check record from 3.30 till 5 Eastern, then post it up on YouTube. And, uh, I, gosh, I never did get a name there. Uh, W3ABJ, was that? Correct. That was Whiskey 3, Alpha Bravo Juliet. The name is Al Alpha Lima Al. Roger, Al. Uh, Roger, Al. How you doing on uh, finding your ALC? Oh, I'm fumbling through the menus here. Uh, I, I went from uh, ICOM 7200 to ICOM 7300, so trying to find everything. Hey, well, you're running uh, what now? What radio are you running now? I'm running the ICOM 7300, but uh, before this one, I used the uh, ICOM 7200. So trying to find things in the menu here is uh, this is new to me. Oh, uh, Roger. Well, you're, you're, I tell you, in the, well, shoot. Uh, you might back off, Mike, about uh, two inches until you can find ALC, Roger. Roger that. I appreciate all your help here. I'm going to dig into the manual and uh, get these menus down a little bit better. But I, I do appreciate your feedback. 
Roger. Oh, Roger. Yes, and you're sounding beautiful. And your dy your uh, dynamic range is running about uh, two and uh, two and a half to three dB. When you find ALC, you probably will see you you're just maybe a tad hot. So you'll pull her down to uh, to a mid scale to two thirds. Uh, Roger. Roger that. But it's sounding good uh, where it is, and I would take it where it is. But uh, anyway, uh, well, let me say threes to you all. I uh, appreciate the drop by there. And like I say, uh, you can uh, find yourself on uh, our Kiso uh, Vlog page by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And uh, look for uh, the uh, uh, group session called My Group Air Check 12 21 18. My group air check twelve twenty one eighteen. Roger, that'll be in the title. Roger that and seventy threes and thank you very much for your help. Roger, Roger, all three is that away. Uh, this is uh, KC9 VKV, and uh, welcome to the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program, where we air check record from uh, 3.30 till 5 Eastern, and then we put it all up on YouTube so you can come by and uh, check out your audio. This is KC9 VKV.